All right, welcome back to Heartwood Farms. Uh, so t today we're going to actually uh, be talking to you about the five reasons why we are going to keep uh, the sustainable Muscovy ducks um, and why we have them even. So boys are outside, they're playing in some water. The chickens and the ducks are in here together. Um, but let's go ahead and jump into those five reasons. Blackbeard, you're being so loud, buddy. But all right, so number one reason why we have the Muscovy ducks. Um, you can actually see a few of them. Be well, you probably can't see them behind me. There they are. There you have a couple of them right behind me. The reason why we have the Muscovy ducks, uh, the number one reason is they, the sustainability. They are great mothers. They are great birds. Great birds to have on your farm. Uh, if you are starting out or you've had a farm for quite some time, and you're looking for uh, another option to make you a little bit more sustainable on your farm. The Muscovy duck is great for that. Um, like I said, they're great mothers. They're great at laying on the eggs. They're very, very good at uh, taking care of their young as well. So that is a great feature to have in um, any type of animal that you have on your property. Um, they do lay about 180 eggs a year, um, which isn't as much as the chickens lay, but they do, uh, the, the eggs are amazing. I've heard that they're fantastic for baking. I don't do too much baking, so I don't know that for a fact, but uh, they're, they taste great. They're amazing. Uh, the yolks are just substantial. Um, so if you're looking for good quality eggs, you're looking for something that's going to be able to, uh, make it so you don't have to keep on buying from somebody else. Muscovy duck is for you. Uh, number two, uh, they are a great meat bird. That's one of the main reasons people have them is for their meat. The... The meat is supposed to be the best meat. Now, we have not had the meat yet. We actually have uh, some of the males that are on the books uh, to be harvested here in the next couple weeks. And so I may be getting a video on that. Um, if you would like to see a video on that, please let us know in the notes. Um, they are great. Great for any size farm, uh, if you're gonna have any type of meat production. Uh, like I said, unlike the chickens, you they're really, really good. You can just keep breeding them. They can keep producing eggs. They can keep producing more and more ducks. They're really good at sitting on the eggs. Uh, so definitely, definitely recommend that. Um, the meat has been described to me like a steak. I have seen, uh, I have not tasted it. I've seen it and it's very, very dark meat. Uh, it does look like a steak. It's, it looks amazing. Um, I get one this, is a, this is Susie. Uh, she is uh, one of the friendliest chickens that we've got. And so we just bought some more of those from a hatchery. Um, and then we've been hatching out some of our own chicks as well. Um, getting back to the subject. Um, the other great thing about the Muscovy duck is they you don't have to just dump a bunch of food uh, for them like other meat birds. So that leads me into number three. They are great foragers and great for pest control. So... They're great. I've I've heard people use other animals for that. Turkeys are great for it and, and things like that. But I really want to use our Muscovy ducks for that. They are fantastic foragers, and I've I have noticed our feed consumption has gone down during the summertime, especially when we let them out. They love to forage. They love to go for the bugs. They love to go down and get into uh, the dirt and and find the bugs there. They will eat the grasses. Um, I have even noticed that they will eat the flies out of this, out of the air. Um, even a frog or something like that, or mice, they'll go after those. So they're very, very good for pest control. 
um, which is, an, like I said, another reason why you may want to have them on your farm. Oh, so much water all over the place. Love it, love it. Uh, all right, so number four, uh, they are really hardy. They're originally from Central America, um, South America area, and yet they can be up here in extreme cold weather up in the up in the mountains, and they are perfectly fine. And in all the temperature that we've had, fluctuating the high humidity to low humidity, they've done an amazing job all around. And I've heard people have them all over the United States and, and all over the world. So pretty amazing how these birds are just able to be fine everywhere. Um, they're great if you're gonna have it in your backyard. If you're gonna have backyard chickens, uh, why not have a few backyard ducks? They don't make any noise uh, or very little noise. The roosters will, um, but the ducks, the drakes, the male drakes, they don't actually hiss, they only hiss. They do not quack. So that is an, an amazing, amazing thing. These, these birds do not need a pond like most of your other ducks. Um, they're actually not uh, related to the mallard duck at all. Um, so that's really the nice part is these birds don't need a bunch of water. They just need enough really to be able to put their beaks in the water and play. And that actually helps them with their eating as well. But they don't have to have a lot of water. We do have a couple of little kitty pools and let them play in that and, and everything. And they love that. Um, but again, if, you're have, if you have a small, small farm, you don't have a pond. We don't have a pond here. We're on the side of a mountain, so there's no way we would have a pond. Um, these guys are still great asset to our homestead. Um, one thing I do want to say, do recommend is if you do have the females, which most likely you're going to have the females, you do need to at least clip one wing because they do, um, they do fly. Uh, you definitely have to clip that. <laughs> They're having so much fun back there. Um, the male ducks do not uh, fly. They're too heavy to fly, so you don't have to worry about them. Uh, but you're not going to want too many of them. You actually want one male to every two to six females. Um, we right now currently have way too many males. We have two females. Um, and in here, we have three males and we have two males in another area. So we're going to be taking a few of these males, putting them over with the other males. Uh, reason number five that we want to have and keep the Muscovy ducks is because, well, they came with the property. We're going to keep them uh, and we're going to try out the meats, make sure that that is what we want. But I'm pretty positive we're going to keep them um, just for all the other features that they have um, with keeping pests down and all that. Um, but can't pass up that's why we got them in the first place is because they came with the property and uh i don't know if we would have purchased them without knowing uh anything being that we just started out on our farm uh, but i am so thankful that we have them and uh reason number six or the bonus reason is um they really as you can see they work really well with chickens um they have the different personalities. There's a lot of fun. They're very curious, very smart birds. So all in all, if you're thinking about getting Muscovies, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, they are a wonderful bird. They're a lot of fun to be with. And uh, hope you uh, enjoy this. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Take just a moment hit the bell hit the subscribe button uh, continue to follow us here on Hartwoods Farms um, all the adventures that we're going through with the silly boys and all of our animals all right as an extra extra bonus we are going to add a little uh, bit from Isaac he really wanted to show you guys his new swing and how excited he is for it so here we go
So I have all my swing. You make it swing that way, that way, that way, or that way. And or you can just swing that way and that way. What's in or your way? way. Well, it's way. so exciting. It's so exciting to have this. And it has my foot cut on. Queen. And it's quite hard to build it. Yeah, sure is. And my babe is in back hand, dude. Uh, and, and don't forget to subscribe for to Heartwood Farm. Uh, and oh. don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thank you. Why, why, Thank when you. you're done watching this video. Bye, bye. 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 And I want you to be careful.